Welcome. In this session, we'll go through some necessary and sufficient conditions that will help us to manage linear inequality constraints. These were originally proposed for general inequality constraints. They're most famously known as the Kuhn-Tucker constraints because in 1951, Kuhn and Tucker showed that these were necessary and sufficient conditions for solving a wide class of problems. It turns out that a master's thesis preceding them by 20 years posed these as the necessary conditions. So depending on what you read, these might be called the Kuhn-Tucker conditions or the KKT conditions. Let's include the master's student and we'll call them the KKT conditions. So in general, we have possibly zero, but we have a number of equality constraints that may hold. And we have, in our case, at least one inequality constraint. And what we'll look at are situations where we have no equality constraints and we have linear inequality constraints. So let's take a look at our general linear case. What we have is a quadratic objective and then a set of linear inequalities. The way that we'll represent this is as a standard optimization problem. And what we'll do is we'll assume that there's a symmetric positive semi-definite matrix. And now we have a matrix A that we can't make very many assumptions about. We don't know whether it's full rank. It may be redundant. Um, that depends on the, on the exact problem. And the way that we'll look at it is this, is that this is a quadratic term that may include um, a linear term in it. And we'll say that the matrix times our, um, our uh, vector argument minus a constraint vector is less than or equal to zero. And as usual, that means that every entry has to be less than or equal to zero. So the Lagrange formula for this is quite familiar. It's an extension of what we had for for equality constraints. Now the Lagrange function is the objective function and we'll use the term lambda for Lagrange as our multipliers and we take the dot product of this Lagrange vector and the constraint, the constraint vector and that forms our Lagrange function. 